I'm going to show you today three ways to upgrade your F-Log footage. Now, I'm going to start off by adding a few nodes. One, two, three, I guess. So how I'm gonna show you the first way is using a color space transform. Color space transform. Okay, here I'll just get rid of this one. I'm gonna go to the effects tab. I'm going to plug in my camera's color space. For Fujifilm, it's Rec 2020 for the color space. And down to F-Log, and it should be graded. This should work on F-Log 2, I believe. F-Log 2 is just more flat, so the curve, like the contrast curve, it won't be as much as with regular F-Log. Now, for the outputs, I'm gonna put Rec 709 and gamma 2.4. Now you can see if I turn that on and off. So this is one way to correct it. I'm gonna shut that off. The second way to correct it would be with a Fujifilm one. So I'll go to this right here. I'll go down to my LUTs, X-T3, and I'll go to Eterna. Now, this is the Eterna LUT. This is the official Fujifilm Eterna LUT. It's on their website. You can search it up. I'll leave a link for it below. And yeah, this is another way to just have it graded off the bat. Now you can see my footage is a little hotter with this. So it's like brighter. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna name this one Exposure. Go to my HDR wheels. Put in my color space for this too. And now I can turn this down a little bit so it's not as bright. And so the highlights aren't as clipped. That's looking a little bitter. Now let me turn that off. I'll name this LUT. I'll name this 709 because that's our Rec 709. And now if I switch between the two, you can see it gives a pretty similar look. Slightly different with the Eterna because Eterna is more of a stylized look. Now, if you want a different stylized look, but let's say you want to create your own look and you don't want to use a LUT, well, what you can do is take another color space transform, drag it on, put it in Rec 2020 again, and Fuji F-Log, the output's 709 but now what you want to do is for the output gamma you're going to go down to cine and film log this is what the log of film would be like before they actually process it it would be flat like this we'll go to here this is the filmlet that comes with resolve you can go down here and you'll see it is kodak 2383 one of the best film what's out there and it comes free with DaVinci Resolve. Now basically this LUT, it's the Hollywood look. It's the main look from Hollywood and it's based off of a film print. So basically they print this out and this is what it will look like. Now I'll turn down the exposure because it's a little high on here too. And you'll see BAM. This gives it a more stylized look than the regular Rec. 709. Now let's say you don't just wanna have like this film print, like let's say it's not exactly what you want. Let's say you want it more desaturated. Then you can add nodes like contrast, saturation. Now you can edit all this. Let's see, maybe I want it more desaturated, but I want it more contrasty. Let's see here two points bring down the shadows bring up the highlights and there we go now we have a different look and each of these corrections here like 709 they'll give you a different look than the other and I'm gonna delete these I'll name this also 709, 
but I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to name this LUT. And then I can highlight these two, go down and create compound node. Then I'll name this 2383. So we have the Fujifilm LUT, which gives a great eternal look. We have the normal 709, which gives you a basic look. And we have Kodak 2383, which gives you a more filmic stylized look.